Having avoided a potentially terrible squiring gig with Lord Maestro, the squire set off back to Kingstown in hopes of catching a better break. That was a close call. I'm glad we didn't stick around to see who he wanted to hire. Who would have thought the Buffalo's family extended so far throughout the realm? After the tournament, there's no way I could work for anyone like Lord Maestro. I mean, come on! I got professional standards here. I can't just work for anyone. Hey, look. What's that shiny thing on the side of the road? It's just some crummy dagger. I bet some lowlife accidentally dropped it while foraging for berries or something. Just leave it there. It's probably not worth anything. But it's so shiny. How could it not be worth anything? I'm going to pick this up and take it with me. It's small enough to conceal and shouldn't weigh me down in any way. Suit yourself. Maybe we can find a junk dealer when we get back to Kingstown and trade it in for some bread or something. Maybe I'll shift you with it before we get back to Kingstown. Did... did you just say something? Well met, peasants! Holy crap, did you see that? That was the shiniest armor I've ever seen! And his hair! Oh my heavens, it was styled and cut to perfection. He smelled like a dozen freshly picked roses. Whoever squires for him must be a certified pro. Lucky bastard. The sooner we reach Kingstown, the sooner we can start looking around for new jobs. It's been days since I last polished a set of armor. I know how you feel. I haven't hand-washed a filthy undergarment for at least as long. I just don't feel alive unless I'm squiring for somebody. Out of my way, filth! Did he just call us filth? Who cares? Did you see how polished his armor was? Did you see how perfectly teased the feather on his helmet was? Do you think the same squire is moonlighting with another knight? This could be really juicy. We should investigate. What in the hell? 